everybody, my name is Sami Kanafani, and if you are watching the series, this video is the fourth video in PSPICE tutorials, and in this video, I will talk about Thevenin equivalent circuit implementation in PSPICE. Now, as an introduction, I would like to introduce Thevenin equivalent circuit. Now, basically, Thevenin equivalent circuit is turning maybe this complex circuit. It's not complex, but I'm making uh, an assumption. Turning this complex circuit into a simpler circuit, as you see in figure B. Now, in circuit analysis, that's done by selecting your load, open circuiting it, and finding the voltage of open circuit, which is V7. Well, in this circuit, it's easy. It is the voltage division, which is given by this equation. The second step in this procedure is short circuiting the load and finding the current passing through the short circuit, which is easy because it is the same current generated by the source, which is V source over R1, because R2 is short circuited as you see. Having V7 and I short circuit, you can find another basic component of this circuit, which is R7. R7 is given by Ohm's law, which is V7 equal R7 times I short circuit. Now, in this example, you may see what the hell, why are we doing this? We are making our trip long, we can't find VL directly. Well, in this example, this circuit, figure A, is really easy circuit, but in another complex circuit, finding V7 will make the procedure really easier. Now, you can really find V7 and 7 equivalent circuit in PSPICE. Now, I made this exercise to find V7 across this 50 ohm resistor. Now, this is done by... First, let us make the circuit. That's 6 ampere. That's 20 volts. We need two resistors, not three resistors. And we need another current heat source. Let me check on the values of the resistor. No, that's 20 and that's 30. 30. connect the circuit of course you should not miss the ground otherwise you have a floating node and guys place a voltage marker at this node now the voltage marker will give you after simulation the value of the voltage at this node now guys Many people will ask why I used a test source or why I used this uh, source. Now, a zero current source will will implement an open circuit, which will lead me to V7, which is the voltage of the open circuit here, and the voltage marker will record the value. Now, let me edit my simulation profile. I will use DC sweep. Make sure to select sweep variable as a current source and to name it as the same name you have it for this source, which is in my case I2. Then go to the sweep type and select the start value, which is 0. Now the start value is 0, which will make you find V7. And the L value is 1 by convention. And make the increment 1M to make the curve. Uh, uh, seems cute and to find uh, the value of R7 easily. Click apply and OK. Run the run piece by. Everything went well. Now, as you see, the, the voltage of the marker 
at 0 ampere is 200 volt which means that V thevenin is 200 volt now I need R thevenin the other basic component now R thevenin is the slope of this curve now simply you can find the slope by taking this point this point is 260 to 250 250 volts and it is at 1 ampere now Finding the slope 250 minus 200 over 1 minus 0, it is 50 ohms. Now, you knew that R7 is 50 ohm and V7 is 200 volts. Now, you can draw your circuit and, to find, and you can find VL easily. And everything went alright. I hope you find this video entertaining and helpful. Uh, subscribe to my channel, like the video. See you soon. Good. Bye.